We back in Chicago. Rideshare driver, Uber driver, got shot, carjacked, trying to drop off a passenger over in Chicago. Take a look. New overnight, a rideshare driver is in critical condition after he was shot during an attempted carjacking. Glenn Marshall joins us live with the details. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, police are looking for three suspects involved in this shooting. We're told that they actually shot this rideshare driver after he refused to give up his vehicle last night. Take a look at the scene here. Police had their focus on the investigation on this Toyota Camry here. The shooting took place just after 10 last night near the corner of North LeClaire and West Iowa Street in the Austin neighborhood. Police are saying a 51-year-old rideshare driver was dropping off a passenger at a home when he was approached by three male suspects on foot. We're told the suspects took the victim's phone and demanded he get out of the Toyota Camry. However, he refused to get out and police are saying the suspects fired shots hitting the man in the chest. He was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he is listed in critical condition. As of right now, no one is in custody for this. Police are still searching for those three suspects. If you have any information that can lead to an arrest, police would like you to contact them immediately. For now, Surprise, surprise. Even ride share drivers are just trying to take care of their business, do their job. You got a Toyota Camry family. What you going to do with a Camry? A Camry is supposed to be the most family-friendly, safest car on the road, and you carjacking a 51-year-old man out of a Camry, and because he, he didn't want to give up his ability to earn, because, he you know, he, he need, people need their stuff. Now, I'm not telling y'all to put y'all life on the line for no stuff. You know, you can always replace stuff, hopefully. Some people can't replace stuff. But why are you shooting the Camry driver? Why are you shooting the guy that's trying to take care of business and provide for his family? That's not right. That is definitely not right. So prayers up for the 51-year-old man. And for, hold on, hold on. Prayers up for everybody in Chicago. Prayers up for everybody in Chicago that got to endure through this crisis, uh, whether it be the crime, uh, this mayor, mayors, and y'all. Elected these people based off of what they look like instead of whether or not they can solve for the problems in the community. I still got my eye on you over there on Philly. I know it's only your first or second day in office, but I'm going to be watching you, Sherelle, over in Philly, the first black female mayor. I got my eye on you. I do. But prayers up for everybody that's over in Chicago that got to suffer through this. Let's continue. Breaking overnight, a major development in the Texas murder mystery. 18-year-old Savannah Soto was nine months pregnant when she and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, were found shot to death last month in San Antonio. Now, police have now arrested a father and son. Shout out to Rita. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. I appreciate you, baby. In connection with the killings, Christiane Benavides has more. Eight days after the bodies of 18-year-old Savannah Soto and the father of her unborn baby, Matthew Guerra, were found in a car in San Antonio, police arrested 19-year-old Christopher Preciado and his 53-year-old father, Ramon Preciado, at a home. The father answered the door. He knew why the police were there, cooperated fully with the investigation, and our detectives were able to start interviewing both the son and the father. Preciado is facing a capital murder charge. His 53-year-old father is charged with abuse of a corpse for allegedly helping Christopher move the bodies after the killings. What the heck is happening in Texas? Hey, San Antonio, what y'all got going down there? Charles Barkley almost convinced me to come and visit y'all because he said that the ladies like churros down there. Y'all do realize that that woman had a baby and she was like nine months pregnant, right? Because she was about to give birth. And I haven't seen this story. I'm still trying to figure out what happened. I don't know why the father would help the son, knowing that the son is a murderer. Um, good God. Good God. She was pregnant, man. She was pregnant. Police say the pair was killed somewhere other than where they were found. Soto and Guerra were reported missing the week of Christmas. Soto was scheduled to have her labor induced on December 23rd, That's but crazy. her family says they couldn't reach her. The two were found shot dead in their car on the afternoon of December 26th, but police say the murders were carried out the night of December 21st, just before midnight. One of the key pieces of evidence that we did collect at the scene was um, Savannah's cell phone. 
That information, authorities say, helped pinpoint the location of the suspect's vehicle, this pickup truck seen here on surveillance video, close to where the bodies were found and a few days before they were discovered. Yeah, that's that fat daddy. That's that overweight fat daddy walking in and his pickup truck. Y'all do realize that cameras is everywhere, right? Let me, let me, for all of you, uh, crime committing bad people in society, let me just say this. Things are changing. And I remember when they, people used to advocate against cameras going up on the poles and cameras at the, you know, traffic lights and all of this. And they would say, oh, no, it's an invasion of our privacy. No, it helps us catch you when you're doing things that you're not supposed to do. And so they triangulate your position based off of your cell phone that pings off of certain towers at certain times because they can know and they can see and trace back where you was. And then that's when they start to pull the cameras because it's all uploaded into the cloud and that's where your tax dollars is going. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that part. And then they're able to see you on different cameras going into different places. They're even able to pick you up off of ring cameras, off your houses, and they know what's going on. So while y'all out here committing crimes, I'm so thankful that y'all are getting caught. But y'all do know that crime is different. You can't just commit a crime and that be it now. They got you in HD, moving bodies, what time you did it. They know exactly what time that the corpse died. They're going to do an autopsy. You can't fake it. You, you, you're not getting away with that type of stuff the way that you used to in yesteryear. Police also revealed a possible motive related to the murders. It appears to be a narcotic-related deal that, that went bad. First, There it is. There it is. Every time you start getting involved with people that ain't doing things right, be careful. Listen, ain't no more good people. Good is defined by your actions. And there it is. You got caught up in a deal going wrong. And uh, so he wound up taking you out and he took the girl out. She probably was a witness to it. She probably was with him. She probably knew where he was going. And so he had to take them both out. Baby, unborn baby, never going to be born. Father now implicated because the father then helped you get rid of the body. So daddy going to prison. Baby ain't never going to be born. Girlfriend is probably not even a part of it. Wanted to be a hot girl and get involved with a dude that was having the money fall up to his ear. He gone, she gone, baby gone, they going to prison, daddy going to prison, everybody gone. Everybody got to suffer. Now, everybody gone. Family was expecting a newborn baby around Christmas, and now everybody's suffering. Shout out to, shout out to y'all. Uh, let's continue. Oh, Las Vegas. <laughs> y'all crazy. This is the shocking moment a man attacked a Las Vegas judge in her own That's courtroom. That's crazy, bro. Clark County District Court Judge Mary Kay Holthus was in the middle of sentencing 30-year-old Dio Beretton to prison for attempted battery for substantial bodily harm when he unexpectedly jumped over both the defense table and judge's bench and tackled her. <laughs> Court officials and attorneys jumping to the judge's aid. All of it caught on this courtroom video. Is she okay? A court martial appearing injured as officers eventually subdue the defendant while helping the judge get back to her feet before escorting her out. Yeah, the terrifying sister. attack, just the latest security scare for judges nationwide. Last year, a man shot and killed a state judge at his home in Maryland after the judge ruled against him in a child custody case. Mm. While in 2020, there was a horrifying attack in New Jersey where a disgruntled lawyer targeted federal judge Esther Salas, showing up at her home, shooting her husband, been multiple times and killing her 20 year old son is uh, is it that bad out here i didn't know that y'all was targeting judges like y'all was the mob whoa whoa you telling me don't run for judge in detroit because i'm gonna be sentencing everybody i know everybody gonna be mad at me if i ever become a judge Maybe that's what I want to be. Maybe not after seeing that dude leap up over there like he Carl Lewis. I was thinking about becoming a judge. 
Everybody going to jail. No sympathy. No, no. You know how I said that one guy is like a really nice judge and he always giving people a slap on the wrist or he's always, you know, doing a nice thing. I'm the opposite of him. You going to jail. Oh, man, we got Judge Anton Daniels. Everybody going to jail. Every Oh, you knew him? Jail. Oh, you thought that you was going to jail. Listen, guys, I'm going outside of the guidelines. <laughs> That's going to be my tagline. My tagline is going to be, listen, guys. So I'm going outside of the guidelines on this one. Wait, 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 Judge Anton. You know that we negotiated with the prosecution. and they, Yeah, but I don't think that they actually gave you the, the – you got a good lawyer, but I'm going to go outside of the guidelines. <laughs> outside of the guidelines time. That's my name. Sentences people to the maximum is my game. Oh, you thought that you was getting out early? Well, you know what? I do know that you probably going to get out for good behavior. So we're going to tack another 10 years on that just to make sure that you serve the full sentence. <laughs> and I order you to the maximum, maximum facility. Don't let me become a judge. Everybody going to jail. Everybody going to jail. Good lawyer, bad lawyer. Oh, you going to waste my time, huh? See, that's why I don't need to be a judge because I would need maximum security. I don't want nobody jumping over the bench to come and get me. Judge Salas told Savannah about her efforts to help better protect the personal information of judges in a law named after her son, Daniel, that has since been passed. Mm. What are you hoping will happen now? Uh, what I'm hoping will happen now is that we will expand these protections nationwide. This is a matter of life or death. Wednesday's incident now raising new questions about security in courtrooms. In a statement, the Las Vegas court saying we are reviewing all our protocols and will do whatever is necessary to protect the judiciary, the public and our employees. You know what they're doing now? They moving everything online. Real, real talk. They not having nobody come in the courtroom. They doing everything online. Most places do everything online. I had got a ticket like a couple years ago. Um, and I had to do it via Zoom. And I was still back at the crib. And I was getting ready for my live stream. At the same time, I never had to take off of work. Any of that. And so everything is going online now. I don't have no sympathy. Oh, you the one that was online asking for reparations. Put an extra three years on this sentence for him to think about what he had to say to me. <laughs> Anton, you should recuse yourself from this because you know that person. Oh, no, I remember him. I remember him. Come on. Come on over here, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. I'm sending everybody to jail. You ask for reparations, you going to jail. You supported Dr. Umar Johnson, you going to jail. You decided that you wanted to become a subscriber of uh, what's that simp's name? What's the simp's name? I forgot what his name is. I ain't talked about him in so long. You going to jail. You going to jail. Oh, you having children out of wedlock? Jail. Poisoning your community? Jail. You was hating on me in 1996? Jail. <laughs> oh, oh, you look like your daddy, huh? Jail. All right, let me read some of these super chats. I can't be out here in these streets. It's too much going on, and I want to make sure that we get to the rest. Of it. Boys Watkins, you follow Boys Watkins? Hey, somebody pull up his algorithm, and let me see who popping up on his algorithm. Watkins, jail. 